Often there are excess embryos available beyond those that are chosen for the initial transfer, and these are cryopreserved or frozen for later use. About 90% of embryos that are cryopreserved by this technique will survive the freezing and later warming process. Cryopreserved embryos perform at least as well as fresh embryos when transferred to the uterus. In fact, there are some studies that suggest pregnancy rates and pregnancy outcomes from cryopreserved embryos may even be superior to fresh embryo transfer. One big advantage of freezing embryos in the process of performing a frozen embryo transfer is much easier and less expensive than doing a stimulated fresh IVF cycle. We will discuss this relative meritus of fresh versus frozen transfers with you at your visit. The embryos may be frozen either on culture day five or day six. They are stored individually, so one embryo per straw, and they can be maintained in, in storage until your 50th birthday. You may choose in the future uh, to complete your family building, and if you have excess embryos still in storage, you may opt to discard those embryos, donate them for research, or donate them to another infertile couple.